Hello, this is Melorian, and this will be my first battle report uh, from the tournament I went to called Out of the Basement, and it's going to feature my orcs versus some dwarves. And as I go to the first picture here, you might recognize these dwarves. They're mine. Uh, they're actually being used by Sibo. He uh, didn't have a painted army, wanted to play in a tournament, so I let him use my dwarves. So uh, he's going to get to use them against me. Uh, this first mission here, there's nothing special, just a pitched battle. Uh, you can see, you know, we got some buildings and stuff up there. Uh, the top right there, we're just counting that as like a fortified hill, so it's a hill with a two plus or a hard cover. Um, my side, going from left to the right, you can see that I have some orcs, some wolves, a shaman chariot, some more orcs, a chariot, some orcs behind because I ran out of room. Uh, in the woods there, I have a couple of war machines, including my doom diver and a troll. Uh, then to the right of it, I have my night goblins with my uh, great shaman there, another chariot, the savage orcs, some more war machines, another shaman chariot, and some orcs on the far side. For the dwarf player, he has uh, some corlers there, he has uh, the grudge thrower that's behind the woods, inside the woods is uh, a bolt thrower with engineer, then he has a block of warriors, uh, with, I think it was a thane in there. Uh, there's an organ gun between it and the nets unit. The mill unit is hammerers with his rune lord. Uh, another organ gun. Then he has some long beards with great weapon. And I think there was a, another character in there. Uh, on that hill, he has some thunderers. And off on the side there, that's just some miners that are going to be coming in later. So looking at this game, uh, the main thing, uh, first of all, he got to pick sides. And I think he kind of made a mistake because he should have taken my side with this hill. But he still had a very defensive position here with the woods on one side. And, uh, you know, even though the hill doesn't really get in my way, uh, it's still I don't have the line of sight to charge across it until I'm actually on top. So my tactics going into this game really was to either knock off those side units and then just kind of whittle down one of those main units, uh, maybe charge it last turn. Uh, however, if he does move up, then I can be a little bit more aggressive. So I'm going to have to just play this by ear. Uh, you know, see what he does and then uh, go from there. So dwarves get first turn, uh, not very much happens. Uh, he moves up those two units, which I thought, thought was a little bit interesting. Um, and you know, his shooting, I don't think it really did anything at all. So that was it for his turn. Orcs turn one, I uh, failed animosity with that unit on the left and that one big block there kind of in the center. So it's holding up that unit and the one behind it. Uh, I kind of move up my center and I move up my chariots and because he moved up that one warrior block I'm really looking to hit it with two chariots at the same time uh, we'll see if he you know counters or whatever but I'm really looking to do that and at the same time on the right side looking to uh, see if I can team up with some chariots as well uh, actually I took a wound on the the far right chariot from uh, I think it was his bolt thrower but yeah so that's it so really in this turn really just generally uh, moving forward uh, do some shooting didn't really do any damage, just some bad luck, and yeah, that's it for this turn. Here's just a, a better picture of what the center looks like. And we're on a dwarf's turn too. So the corlers shoot at my fast cav, do a couple of wounds, they panic, and they run off to the side there. And then his organ guns do a real number on me. The one on the left actually blew itself up, but uh, the other one killed a whole bunch of night goblins, and then I also lost a few savage orcs. And he also destroyed my shaman chariot on the right there. That one night goblin is just uh, representing my one model. So I uh, took a bit of a hit right now, but you know I still think I'm fairly okay. Uh, that especially that unit on the left, he didn't really move at all, so I think I can hit it pretty hard. Orcs turn two, uh, animosity. Those two blocks failed again, so they're out of it. Those wolves ran off the board, and you can see I hit him really hard. Those two chariots slammed into his unit there, and. Uh, beat him, he broke, I held with the one chariot, pursued with the shaman one, and even though I didn't run very far, as you can see, I still caught him because he rolled really low, so that's a huge point uh, in my favor, and now with those two chariots being there in position, I'm ready to really smash one of those other blocks as well. And here on the other side, you can see my wolves swung around to the other side. Uh, through shooting and magic, I've managed to kill a th few of his thunderers, uh, his magic defense is fairly strong, so I'm not getting through very much magic, but yeah, so this is what it's looking like here. 
Dwarves turn three. Uh, the hammers charge the shaman chariot. I flee and get away. Uh, he does some more shooting. You know, does a couple of wounds off that one chariot there. Uh, but overall, nothing too bad. I think his the grudge thrower even misfired, so it couldn't shoot this turn or next. So, uh, yeah, now he's just waiting for me to to hit him again. So then orcs turn three. Uh, that one chariot at the top there tried charging his grudge thrower. Uh, it was a failed charge. I rallied the shaman char chariot. Uh, I charged a bunch of things at the longbeard unit. He fled and got away. Hopped over the the orc gun. He's on the other side now. Uh, you can see that unit of orcs failed animosity again. <laughs> so those two units of blocks have just been completely useless this game. Uh, the troll's up there just to go and redirect the miners and make it so that if he does anything, uh, then I can flank him. Otherwise, I'm just positioning to uh, hit him pretty hard. And from this side, uh, if you look up on that one fortified hill, you can see those two orcs. That's kind of representing where these two units should be. So those thunderers are in big trouble. You know, I had those hammers from all sides. So at, at this point, I really like how it's looking. Uh, at the very bottom there, you can see that on his turn, his miners came on, but I mean, if I lose 70 points worth of spear chakas, that's really no big deal. All right, so then on the dwarf turn, what is it, four now? Um, he destroys the one other shaman chariot, so now there's just a single guy there. Um, the miners go and charge that one unit there, and I, yeah, they got destroyed, and then he ran into the other spear chaka. And, uh, yeah, he also destroyed my other chariot in the middle there with his organ gun. And this here is just a better picture of what the, the center looks like. All right, so my turn. I, uh, send my guys into the, the flank here. I was actually originally planning to hit that organ gun as well, uh, with my wolf riders, but at this point I don't want to because it's basically pinning in those, uh, long beards with, uh, Thane or whatever that is. Uh, meaning that they're pointless. If I was to destroy the gun, then I could get flanked. So, as it is, I can just go and whittle down these hammers uh, as best I can. And from the looks of it, I can't remember if this is after combat. It must be, but yeah, I'm just picking away at them. Oh, no, I was wrong. That was me charging in. Uh, I had hit The reason why there were some dead there is just because I hit them with the spell where everybody's hit on a 4+, plus. but uh, I beat them. They failed their stubborn test, and I run them down. So there's another huge block gone. Uh, the orcs on the other side destroyed the thunderers. That chariot charged their uh, grudge thrower and ran off the board. Uh, now it's that the orc unit on the left's turn to fail animosity, but oh, and the night goblins. But you can see that I'm just kind of overrunning him at this point. Next dwarf turn, uh, you know, he's now destroyed both uh, my spear chuckers with his miners. Uh, he's really just kind of standing there at this point. Oh, here's a better picture, sorry, this is uh, after. So his miners just turn to face me. His uh, one unit of long beards are turning to face the one side, just kind of daring my uh, wolf riders to charge in the, the rear. But of course, at this point, I have no reason to do that. And on my turn, the one thing he forgot that I could do is I charge that one unit in the rear with my uh, orc block. I beat them, ran them down, ran into the organ gun, uh, tried doing some charges on the bolt thrower, but my troll failed stupidity, and then my savage orcs couldn't fit through, so they'll live a turn, and my chariot came back on to deal with the thunderers. Here's just a better picture to show the orc slaughter. And then finally on his turn, doesn't have much to do, shoots at me a bit, and then here's after me on my last turn. I uh, charge the thunderers, wipe them out, the organ gun is gone, uh, charge into the one uh, bolt thrower, and it's stubborn and holds. And here's just one last picture showing that one last defined crew member where everything else is falling apart, but he's at least holding out. And that's the game. So, you know, obviously a massacre to me. Uh, Sebo's rel relatively new with the army. He was a little bit more aggressive than he should have. Uh, I got some lucky breaks where he failed some critical leadership tests. And there you go. So, great way to start the tournament, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.